Welcome to Whispering Tales TV, where we unravel captivating stories that will leave you spellbound. Join our community by sharing your own tales at whisperingtalestv at gmail.com and let's embark on a journey of imagination together. Story 1. The Haunting in Cyberspace It was a late summer night when my friends and I gathered in my basement, ready for a night of virtual reality gaming. The room was abuzz with excitement, the hum of the VR headsets adding to the anticipation. We chose a horror game, eager for a thrill that only virtual reality could provide. The game promised a haunted mansion filled with dark secrets and ghostly apparitions. As the headset enveloped me, I was transported to the eerie world of the haunted mansion. The atmosphere was palpable, the air heavy with a sense of foreboding. My heart raced as I explored the dimly lit corridors, the shadows seemingly alive with unseen movements. Every creak of the floorboard sent shivers down my spine, and the distant echoes of ghostly whispers seemed to taunt me. Suddenly, a figure emerged from the darkness, its eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. I stumbled back, my breath catching in my throat. It was as if the game had come to life, the line between reality and virtuality blurring. In a panic, I ripped off the headset, the basement around me returning to the familiar surroundings. My friends stared at me, concern etched on their faces. There was... something in there. I stammered, my voice barely above a whisper. They exchanged uneasy glances, dismissing my words as a result of an overactive imagination. But I couldn't shake the feeling that something had followed me out of that virtual world. That night, as I lay in bed, I heard faint whispers in the darkness, as if the echoes of the game still lingered. I tried to convince myself it was my imagination, but the feeling of being watched persisted. In the days that followed, I couldn't escape the sense of unease. Shadows seemed to dance at the edge of my vision, and strange noises echoed through the house at night. I returned to the game, determined to confront whatever had haunted me. But when I put on the headset, I found myself back in the haunted mansion, the figure with glowing eyes nowhere to be seen. From that day on, I never touched a VR headset again. The line between reality and virtuality had blurred too much for comfort. The haunting in cyberspace was a reminder that some experiences are better left in the realm of the unreal. Story 2. The Glitch in the System It was a rainy evening, the perfect setting for a night of virtual reality gaming. My friends and I gathered in my living room, eager to dive into the latest horror game that promised an experience like no other. The game boasted state-of-the-art graphics and an intricately designed haunted mansion. We donned our headsets, the world around us fading into darkness as the virtual reality took hold. Inside the game, the mansion loomed before us, its grandeur tinged with an eerie stillness. We navigated through the ornate corridors, our footsteps echoing in the virtual silence. As we explored, a sense of unease settled over us. The atmosphere was so convincing that it was easy to forget we were in a game. The details were astonishing. The flickering candlelight, the creaking floorboards. It was as if we had truly stepped into another world. Then, it happened. A glitch, subtle but unmistakable. The walls seemed to ripple, as if reality itself was warping. We exchanged puzzled glances, unsure if it was a part of the game or a technical hiccup. But as we pressed on, the glitches became more pronounced. Shadows moved in unnatural ways. Objects seemed to shift when we looked away. It was as if the game itself was rebelling against us. We tried to exit, to remove our headsets, and return to the safety of reality. But the option was gone. The menu screen had vanished, leaving us trapped in this glitch-ridden nightmare. Panic set in as we frantically searched for a way out. The mansion, once a source of fascination, now felt like a suffocating prison. The glitching grew more intense, distorting our surroundings in disorienting ways. Suddenly, a figure materialized before us, its form flickering and unstable. It spoke, its voice distorted and garbled, a jumble of incomprehensible sounds. It was a manifestation of the glitch, a sinister presence born from the game's malfunction. We tried to flee, to escape this digital nightmare, 
but the glitch seemed to have taken control. It twisted the world around us, rendering our movements futile. In a desperate act, I closed my eyes and tore off the headset, hoping to break free from the virtual prison. When I opened them, I was back in my living room, the headset in my trembling hands. My friends were beside me, equally shaken by the experience. We sat in stunned silence, the memory of the glitch in the system etched into our minds. To this day, I can't shake the feeling that something beyond our understanding lurked in that virtual world. The glitch was a stark reminder that even in the realm of technology, there are forces that defy explanation. Story 3. The Haunting of the Virtual Realm It was a chilly autumn evening, and a sense of anticipation hung in the air as my friends and I prepared for a night of virtual reality gaming. We had heard of a game that promised to blur the lines between reality and virtuality, an experience that would leave us questioning what was truly real. As we donned our headsets, the world around us faded into darkness, replaced by a virtual landscape that seemed almost too vivid to be artificial. We stood on the precipice of a desolate forest, the tall trees casting long, twisted shadows. Our objective was simple, navigate through the forest and uncover its dark secrets. The wind whispered through the leaves, carrying with it an eerie melody that sent shivers down our spines. As we delved deeper, the forest seemed to come alive, its ancient trees groaning and creaking with unseen movements. The air grew colder, and a sense of unease settled over us. Suddenly we heard it, a distant mournful howl that seemed to echo through the trees. We exchanged nervous glances, wondering if it was a part of the game or something more sinister. We pressed on, determined to uncover the truth. But the forest seemed to have a mind of its own, the path shifting and changing as if to thwart our progress. It was as if the very landscape was conspiring against us. As we navigated the twisting trails, a figure emerged from the shadows, its eyes glowing with an unnatural light. It was a phantom, a spectral presence that seemed to belong to another realm. In a panic, we tried to retreat, but the forest had become an inescapable labyrinth. The phantom drew closer, its presence suffocating. We could feel its gaze upon us, a silent judgment from beyond. Then, as quickly as it had appeared, the phantom vanished, leaving us alone in the oppressive silence of the forest. We took this opportunity to make our escape, retracing our steps through the ever-changing landscape. When we finally emerged from the virtual world, we were met with a stark reality. The room around us seemed foreign, as if we had returned from a journey to another dimension. The haunting of the virtual realm stayed with us long after that night. We couldn't shake the feeling that something had followed us back, a presence that lingered at the edges of our perception. From that day on, we approached virtual reality with a newfound respect for its power. The game had shown us that even in the realm of technology, there are mysteries that defy explanation and forces that can reach beyond the confines of the virtual world. Thanks for watching Whispering Tales TV, so don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join our community of fellow thrill seekers. Get ready for spine-tingling stories that will keep you up at night. Let the Whispering Tales begin.